Hello everyone, welcome to Biomedication. So today we learn about generation and conduction of nerve impulse. So this video ko end tak dekhna because this video will be detailed hogi aur har cheez iske andar included hogi animations ke saath. So chalo without wasting any time, let's begin. The nerve impulse is the sum of mechanical, chemical and electrical disturbances curated by stimulus in a neuron. The conduction of nerve impulse can be divided into two main phases, resting membrane potential and action membrane potential. Neurons are excitable cells. They may be stimulated by physical, mechanical, chemical or electrical stimuli. The nerve fiber or axon is covered by a neural, axonal or plasma membrane. The neural membrane has sodium and potassium ion channels called voltage gated or regulated channels. These channels open or close according to the electric potential across membrane. The ion channels of the resting membrane are differentially permeable to ions and different rates. It is more permeable to potassium ions, almost impermeable to sodium ions, and totally impermeable to the negatively charged proteins of the exoplasm. Therefore, the exoplasm inside the exon contains a high concentration of potassium ions negatively charged proteins and at low concentration of sodium ions. On the contrary, the extracellular fluid outside the exon contains a low concentration of potassium and high concentration of sodium. This differential permeability is maintained by a sodium-potassium pump present inside the membrane. The sodium potassium pump transports three sodium ions outside the cell for every two potassium ions that enter the cell. This electrical potential difference across the membrane in an unexcited nerve fiber is called resting potential and the neuron is called a polarized nerve fiber. When a stimulus is applied to a site, say A, on the polarized membrane, the sodium ion channels open and the membrane at the site becomes freely permeable to sodium ions. This leads to a rapid influx of sodium ions that reverses the polarity of the site. That is, the ultra surface of the membrane becomes negatively charged and the inner surface becomes positively charged. This reversal of polarity across the two sides of the membrane is called depolarization. The electrical potential difference across the plasma membrane at site A is called the action potential. This action potential travels as a wave of depolarization along the length of the nerve fiber in a particular direction and is called the nerve impulse. At site B, the axon membrane has a positive charge on the outer surface and a negative charge on the inner surface. As a result, a current flows on the inner surface from site A to site B on the outer surface. The current flows from site B to site A. To complete the circuit of current flow, this reverses the polarity at the site and an action potential is generated at site B. Thus, the impulse generated at site A arrives at site B. The sequence repeats along the length of the axon for the impulse to be conducted. At the peak of action potential, the permeability of the membrane to sodium ions decreases 
while it becomes more permeable to potassium ions. This is because sodium ion channels start closing and potassium ion channel starts opening. However, this part of the membrane regains its original polarity within milliseconds and this phenomena is called as repolarization. A repolarized nerve fiber undergoes a refractory period of a few milliseconds during which the original ionic distribution is restored by a sodium potassium pump which actively transports sodium ions outward and potassium ions inward. This returns the membrane to its resting potential and the neuron is ready to receive another stimulus. The junction helps transmit the nerve impulse from one neuron to another. These junctions are called synapses. A synapse is formed by the membranes of a presynaptic neuron and a postsynaptic neuron, which may or may not be separated by a gap called the synaptic cleft. There are two types of synapses on the basis of nature of transfer of information. These are chemical synapses and electrical synapses. Chemical synapses are common in human system and consist of a presynaptic neuron, synaptic cleft and a postsynaptic neuron. The presynaptic neuron ends with a synaptic knob. A synaptic knob has a large number of mitochondria and many synaptic vesicles. Each synaptic vesicles contain neurotransmitter chemical molecules such as acetylcholine. The synaptic cleft is a fluid filled gap between the exon terminal and the dendron of another neuron. So there is no protoplasmic continuity between neurons. When an impulse or action potential arrives at the exon terminal, it stimulates the movement of the synaptic vesicles towards the presynaptic membrane. Synaptic vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane and release the neuron transmitters into the synaptic cleft. The neurotransmitters thus released bind to the synaptic chemoreceptors present on the postsynaptic membrane of the dendron. This binding opens the sodium ion channels that allows the entry of ions to generate a new potential in the postsynaptic neuron. This may lead to the development of an excitatory new potential or inhibitory new potential. Electrical synapses are the less common of the two types. They were first found in crayfish, later in coelenterates, annelids, mollusks, arthropods, and fishes. The membranes of pre and postsynaptic neurons or electrical synapses are in very close proximity. This allows the direct flow of electric current from one neuron to another. Synaptic vesicles are absent and only a few mitochondria are present. Impulse transmission across an electrical synapse is faster than that across the chemical synapse. So, here it ends and congratulations you completed a major important topic for NEAT which is worth plus 4 marks. Just to satisfy your soul a little bit more, I would love to tell you that this session covered every single line of NCRT so you can go and give it a read as a revision and this topic is done and dusted. 
make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel biomeditation is bringing you the best detailed content in the form of animations keeping in mind about all the doubtful topics you guys asked in the comment section so comment the next topic you want to learn from us as we are following the series of aiming for plus 4 marks in 10 minutes so See you tomorrow sharp at 10.30 a.m. with a new heavy topic. Till then, all the very best. Keep hustling. Bye-bye.